Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review on the RCMA No Color Powder. I ordered this off of Beautylish. It was $12 with shipping. It was $17 US dollars. I know I'm late on this bandwagon. I know it's been raved about and talked about for a while now and I never got around to purchasing it until now. But I'm really glad that I did because... I believe it's gonna be one of my new favorites. Other thing, don't mind my voice. I'm getting over a cold right now. Um, I've been sick for a week now. My voice just does not wanna come back, so it is a little raspy. I know I sound funny, but just work with me. If you wanna see my review on the RCMA Note Color Powder, then keep on watching. First things first, I'm gonna do my primer, my, my foundation, and then once I do concealer, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the powder. So let's get started. Primer today, I'm just going to use my Marc Jacobs um, Invisible Perfecting Coconut Primer. I love this stuff. Alright, so next for foundation, I'm actually going to be using my favorite Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation. Favorite foundation. And I'm just going to take two pumps. Like always, use my finger and wipe that on my skin. A bit of breakouts around my skin. I don't know if you can see that one on my nose and some right there. I just got them last night. I was actually eating peanuts yesterday. I don't know why every time I eat peanuts, I break out. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M439 and buff that in. This foundation's a little bit too light for me, but all my foundations are lighter than me right now because I've been tanning, but I mean, oh well. Next, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm going to be using my um, brow powder by Anastasia in the color Ebony. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and do concealer. I'm going to use my favorite, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Since this is my favorite concealer, that's why I'm going to be testing it out with the RCMA um, powder just to give it a fair chance, um, just in case something doesn't come out right. I know it's not the concealer because I've used it before and it's my favorite. It's because it's going to be the powder. So I'm just going to blend that in with my L'Oreal sponge, beauty sponge. I know it looks crazy right now, it's just because my foundation's way too light, um, but like I said, it's all my foundations are way too light for my skin right now because I've been tanning, but we'll make it work with bronzer. I know it looks scary, I look like a ghost, but that's alright, we'll fix it. Alright, so next let's get into the powder. So like I said, it comes in this um, box and then it comes wrapped up with the B sticker nice packaging that actually has the powder on the wrapping which is pretty nice all right so let's go ahead and open it all right so first thing i got was just a um like a card a welcome card to beautylish actually comes like really nicely wrapped that is pretty nice so this is what the powder looks like it's the original rcma no color powder. I'm sorry guys, my voice is horrible, so I'm just going to try to speed through this really quick. The perfect universal setting powder for all skin types. No color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers, and will never alter your foundation, shade, or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause flashback. Nice. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, the only thing is I know this doesn't have like a container that I can like dip my beauty sponge in. So, um, alright. So I'm actually going to use the cover of my Cover FX um, powder. Open it up. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that made a mess. That made a huge mess. Okay, 
I'm gonna shake it up just because. I'm gonna pour some on the back, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna dab one more time. And then this powder it's so finely milled that there it's like really really messy because it's so finely milled like I don't know if you can probably can't see it but there's like a lot of fallout every time I Dab it onto my skin like it's going everywhere, but that's all right. Next, I'm just going to brush it off with a powder brush. I don't want to let it bake too much just because it I don't want it to get super dry. So far, there is no color. It's true to what it says. There's, It's a no color powder. I thought my skin was actually going to be a lot whiter, but it's not. It didn't differ the color of my foundation or anything it actually looks really 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 nice okay now i'm just gonna fix this whole mess and i'm gonna use my butter bronzer by physicians formula and just bronze my face up guys i'm really liking this powder there's a little bit of creasing but it's not too bad i no matter what concealer powder I use I always crease underneath my eyes it's just how my skin is so it's but so far I really like it. it's really really thin and the littlest amount goes a really long way like I just poured a tiny bit onto the back of the pan and I still have some left over so so far everything is blending in really well okay I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really, like, it really brightens up your under eye. All the places that I highlighted, so underneath my eyes, down my nose, my chin, and my forehead, and it looks really smooth. I think I like it. I think it's my new favorite. Ooh. Let me finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on the... RCMA no color powder. All right guys, so this is the end result. I really 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 Love this powder. It is I mean, I don't know if you can tell it leaves your skin like Flawless like I have a little bit of creasing, but that's normal I always have creasing no matter what concealer or powder I use but like it really brightens up the under eye, but it doesn't defer the color of your foundation. It leaves it really nice, really smooth, and the littlest amount really goes a long way. Like I put like just a tiny bit and it I had enough for my whole thing. I know I'm late on getting this. I know it's been out for a while. I know it's been raved about, but I just I've been so obsessed with my Laura Mercier powder, but I kind of got tired of it. That's why I decided to pick this up. And I'm so happy I did. It's I think it's going to be my new favorite. It really leaves the skin looking flawless. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So like I said, I ordered this off of Beautylish. It got here, I mean, within less than a week. I believe I ordered it like a Monday. And it was already here like Thursday. It, super quick ship, uh, shipping. I don't remember... The price, let me double check that. It's $12 and with shipping, it came out to $17. Um, I live in the US, US dollars. Um, there is three ounces in here, which it's it's a lot. It's a pretty good amount. I believe in the Laura Mercier or even the Cover FX powder. Like right here, I only have 0.35 ounces and this thing was like almost 40 bucks. I mean, it's... It's ridiculous. There's a lot of product in here. And I only ordered one bottle. And I know this will last me a very, very long time. So, yes, I'm obsessed with it. Yes, I recommend picking it up. It's amazing. If you don't have it, get it. I will update you guys on future videos. Um, 
but so far I love this powder. Alright guys, that is it for my review on the RCMA color powder. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!